Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to count unique or duplicate values in a list. So when I say unique values, basically what we do is we have this list here and we have, let's say the number 5 shows up four times. I only want to count the, the unique instance of how many times it shows up. So basically, even though it counts shows up five, I want to count only once. So the unique instance. And we're going to use the count if and nest that into an if function. Let's go ahead and start. So I'll press equal, count if, open parentheses. Let me select cell A2 as our range. Press shift, colon. And basically, it's going to copy A2 as the ending range. So we have our A2 as our starting range, A2 as our ending range. And I want to make this in, in a dynamically expandable range. So what, it's, what I'm going to do is with A, the first, the starting range, I'm going to press, go in there and just press F4 to lock that in there. Basically, make that an absolute uh, cell reference there. A, dollar sign A, dollar sign 2. Now for my criteria, and you'll see that once I lock that down and as I copy it down, you'll see that this portion of it, the second portion of it, it's going to change. And I'll show you I'll show you how that works. Now for my criteria, let me just go and press comma and you see the, the, the bold on the criteria. My criteria is going to be cell A2. So I can just select in that cell and press shift, close parentheses, control enter to stay in that cell. And what it's what it's done here, what the count if formula has done, is with the cell range a2 to a2, which is this cell, count a2. So count the instance of five showing here. Now, of course, it, there's, it's only one cell in that range, so it's going to count it once. So if I cop bring this down here to the second five here, you'll see that that's that's cell reference, that expanding cell reference. You see it went to a3. If I go here, you see it went to a4 and also the criteria went to the adjacent cell here. As I go into B5 here, you'll see that it expanded and you see the beginning cell range, the cell reference did not change, but the other ones did. So when you copy it down, they increment accordingly. So once I get down here to the second instance of five, you'll see that it went to A6 and it's looking at A6 too. So what it's doing, what this counted function is doing is look at this range. If I click in here, you'll see that the, the range is selected. A2 to A6, count how many times A6 shows up. So A6, the number 5, A6 reference, references that cell number 5. It shows up once here, and it goes up here, goes up here, goes up here. 0, 0, 0, 0, OK. It shows up again. But what it's doing is it's counting from the top down. So you see that if I exit, Press control, press uh, escape key. I mean, this says it's the second instance of the number five. So basically, what I can do is just double-click this to bring it down, and you'll see it does the same for words too. Blue, that's the first instance of blue. As it came down here, that's the second instance of blue. So what I can do with this is I can turn this all into ones and zeros. And how I would do that to aid in the count, because uh, that's what I want to do. I want to count. Uh, how many instances of how many unique instances of the value are show up in this list? What I'm going to do is use the if statement. So if open parentheses. So if this count equals to one. So basically, I just want to look for the first time it counted that value. If it equals to one, then one. If it doesn't equal to one, zero. So basically, if it equals two, like we had this two here, that value is going to be a zero. Close parentheses. Control Enter to stay in that cell. Um, because I selected the whole cell, the formula copied it all the way down. So you, you see how that happened? So this cell has the if statement, this cell has the if statement, that cell has the if statement. That's just kind of a, a little shortcut that you can do is you can cop, you can select the whole cell range. That one's selected. You update your formula here, press Control Enter, and it will reflect the change in the formula for your selected range. So this is what it did. So basically, if if the count if formula equals 1, it'll put a 1 there. If not, it'll equal 0. So in this second instance, remember that that was a number 2. So it didn't equal 1, so it's going to put a 0 in there. And it just kind of goes all the way down here. And so what that enables us to do is sum up all the values here. And 
that will tell us how many unique instances of value show up. So to do the auto sum, we can just use the Alt key, press the equal sign, and that's just the keyboard shortcut to sum up, bring up that the sum function, and it'll sum up this list here. So just press enter, and we'll see that there are six unique instances of a number or word in this list. So we have the number five, it shows, we're only going to count that once. The number eight shows up here, but we're going to count that once. The number two doesn't show up anywhere. That counts once. The number three um, shows up another two more times here, but we're going to count that once. So it, that gives us our total unique values of six. So how do we do the duplicates? How do we count our duplicates? Well, that we can do is using the same formula, but we're going to change it a little bit in the if statement. So we're going to use, we'll just copy this over, basically. I would do copy that, control C, escaped to get out of edit mode, and go into this cell and go into the formula bar here, control V to paste. Now instead of having it equal one, I want to have it greater than one. So I want to count all the instances where, it, all the duplicate instances, right? So basically, what I'm going to do is have that greater than 1. So anytime that it's greater than 1, it's going to count it. Control Enter, and double click to bring this down. So here, count it here. Now it's saying, oh, there's another duplicate of 5. Here's another duplicate of 5. So it's going to count that as 1. And so what we can do is do Alt equal sign to sum it up. Control Enter to do the sum, and we'll say, we have um, ins eight instances of duplicates in this list. So that's the way that we can use some functions, the count if and the if statements, if function, to count unique instances in the list or duplicate instances in the list. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.